All right, Ethan, you guys are about to go play a cold weather game at your advantage. It's a little bit chilly in, uh, yeah. in Tennessee, but uh, a little bit colder than these Florida guys, Florida boys are used to. What's your experience playing in cold weather games? Now, I've played in a number of cold games. Uh, one, one in particular, I played at Kentucky, and it was snowing on us, and and we ended up having a really good result at the end of the game. It was fun. I, I think it's all about the mindset you take to the game and the confidence that you have that you don't you don't let the the weather affect you and just know that the game is the game. Whatever is outside of the game, you know, you can't you can't control. And um, taking that approach is is going to help our team and help these guys help uh, help us win. I know you don't play offense, but do you think it's easier on defense or offense when they you know the ball is cold and everything? I think it's more of a defensive advantage. Don't you think? I would say it was a de I would say so. Yeah. I would say it's a defensive advantage, especially once the ball gets way. You mentioned snow, someone mentioned snow. I, it snows. That's good for us too. I like playing in the snow. It's fun. So, Ethan, what have you seen from you know with, since Coach Addy's taken over play calling? What have you seen from this group over the last couple of games, and what stood out to you about how you guys have performed under that? Yeah, I think our confidence has just continued to build. Um, like Coach had mentioned earlier, we've kept two teams under like 300 yards, and so. Um, I mean, I think that's just been helping our, our defense and our confidence build. And we know that, you know, we have the ability to be a really good defense and help our team win and contribute to winning. So um, Coach Addy's been really, done a really good job just, you know, focusing on execution um, and, and putting us in the right position to make, make plays and, and help our team. Ethan, I, I can't relate to playing in snow at all. I just have the rain to deal with. But um, from, from my perspective, you know, the defense is always – Textbook-wise, kind of a step behind because they have to watch the play happen and then react. Um, when you're playing in snow like that, you have a slower first step or you're slipping or whatever. Is this where kind of the intelligent part of the study kind of has a little bit more focus on, perhaps? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, hopefully, uh, you know, slipping and things like that doesn't affect us. And hopefully, I mean, I would like to think that you know the cold isn't going to be a factor for us. Um, but always, yeah, you know, watching film, make, you know. This game is, uh, is is really important, just like any other game. But you know, we know it's a game that we have to win if we want to play in the postseason. So, um, you know, it was kind of giving everything we got to this week, um, getting in the meeting room more, being around, uh, being around our coaches a little more, figuring out, uh, you know, how can we execute better and, and you know el eliminate mistakes um, and help our team. How did you and the team benefit from the bye week where it fell on the schedule? Yeah, I think it was really good. Uh, you know, knowing kind of where we are now with um, just how the last couple weeks have gone for us. We've been able to recoup, uh, get some guys healthy, um, and, and reset our focus up with these last two weeks and how important they are for us and our team. So uh, it's been good. I think we got to really focus in on uh, you know some areas where we needed to improve and get guys healthy that have been playing a lot and getting banged up. So it, it was a good bye week, and I'm looking forward to our prep. Uh, our preparation as we go into this week. Early in the week, but what is your evaluation on West Virginia's offense? Yeah, I think they are their team that is is, uh, is kind of lives in the run game. They kind of attack in, in, in different areas, whether it be uh, you know, stretching you out with some of the jet sweeps, and also you know they're up their their run game up the middle with their power read, their quarterback their quarterback run game as well. Um, their the quarterback's a guy who's fast; he can make plays. He can also throw really well. So. Um, it's going to be important that we, we stop him and we eliminate his ability to make explosive plays and then um, stop, uh, eliminate shots downfield and just make sure that we're on body with receivers downfield and good in our zones, things like that, and eliminating penalties as well. So that way, you know, if we make a play, we're not having to go downfield and, you know, stay on the field. We can, we can, we can, we can get out. So um, just being good on third down as well will really help us this week. The last few weeks, there's been improvements in the defense. Obviously, that's without BJ. Now, Gus said he's hopeful that he'll be back this week. What does that add to this defense? Yeah, I think it's huge. I'm so happy that he's back. I know he's been he's been wanting to get back for the past couple weeks now, and um, you know he's been staying uh, he's been staying up and staying encouraging to the rest of the guys uh, through his time while he's not been able to play. So it'll be good to have him back out there. We, we have so much confidence in him. He's a great player, obviously. So I think he'll be able to help us, and, and you know play a factor in us winning this game. Ethan, you know, like you just mentioned, West Virginia does a lot of like motions, you know, got to be really disciplined with your eyes this week to kind of make sure you're where you're supposed to be at. Do you feel like that's something that uh, you can do on adjustments or you have to really kind of go into this game fully prepare what the offense has to come? Uh, yeah, I mean, at any time in the game, like when you have to, when you have to adjust, that's, that's something you have to do. And um, if we need to, once the game comes, we'll do that. But I think there's, Everything that we, we've seen them do is something that they'll do in the game. So it's not like they'll be doing something crazy that we don't know. So if we can just prepare for that and, and, 
it's more important just watching film and putting out on the practice field and executing um, and knowing how we're going to play um, their motions, their jets, uh, their, their reads with the, with the jet sweep and how we're going to play that with, with what, any, any given call that we have. And um, at the end of the day, it's going to be the preparation this week that's going to deliver us to success. Whether it's uh, two games or three games, these are the last few weeks of college football for you. Uh, have you has it entered your mind at all? Have you appreciated you know, just the grind any, any more or less than the last few weeks? Yeah, no, for sure. I, I was just talking about that with one of our teammates this morning. Like, it's. I think some people like to, you know, count down the days to the end of the season. And you know, I think as you get older, you start to appreciate it more and just taking every day for, you know, for what it's worth and not taking it for granted. And it's definitely been something I've been thinking about. It's kind of crazy that it's getting towards the end of uh, my college career. I feel like, you know, you feel like you're never going to get there. You're a freshman. And you feel like it's never going to come, and you know, all of a sudden it's here. So uh, definitely appreciating it and enjoying enjoying what we have left, uh, however long that is. Well, then let's get your better perspective on this. So as much as uh, when everybody talks about UCF's offense, we hear about stuff in the box and how they're going to do. Let's flip that. We know that West Virginia likes to run the ball. It's good at running the ball. Does that excite you a little bit more going into a game like that? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, as a linebacker, when you know, whenever you know some a team's heavy running the ball or. Uh, they, they major out of the running game. It, I mean, I think it gives us as linebackers opportunity to make a lot of plays, make a lot of tackles, and you know, hear your name called a couple of times. So, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a game that you you live for. It's uh, it's what you want, and uh, I'm excited. I think uh, we have we're set. We're getting set up to play a really good game. Uh, I think our defense, defensive line, and our interior box has been doing well for the most part these past couple of weeks, and so um, I'm excited to see the performance that we put on the field Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if it's necessarily pressure. It's more so just the game is the game, and like I think as long as we can execute and do what we're what we're supposed to do at a high level, and 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 not let ourselves, you know have these little mistakes around the field and put together a complete game, we'll be happy with our performance and happy with the result at the end of the game. So um, may, there may be a little bit more pressure here or there, but you know, you want to win every game, so it doesn't really change that much. Kind of on that note, I know this season as a whole has been disappointing. It hasn't gone the way you guys would have wanted to. You know, you guys have plans to compete for the Big 12 championship, but how important for a guy that's you know, in your last two games, regular season games of your college, how important is it for you to finish strong and reach a bowl game, you and, and guys like yourself, so you kind of look back more fondly on this season that maybe wasn't what you quite expected? Yeah, I mean, I think that's huge. I mean, you always want to finish strong, I think, uh, in any season, really. But this season particularly, being my last, and a lot of, a lot of we have a lot of seniors on this team, so a lot of guys last season uh, being in college football, like, it's, it's huge. And I think as long as we can do that, like we'll be able to look back and, and really reflect on our on our experience here and, and and be happy about what we did this season if we can win these next two games. Obviously, uh, Garrett's been a little banged up. Uh, Garrett Green's been a little bit banged up for West Virginia, so they've had to use both quarterbacks. What have you seen from that room for them? Yeah, I mean, I think they're uh, like the guy, like the quarterbacks on their team are, are going to help them win games. Uh, I think they rely on on them a lot with their ability to make plays uh, in the run game. And so, uh, yeah, he's, he's back, and I think he's, he's going to be a key factor to you know, their success. And so, uh, like I said earlier, it's going to be about limiting him and you know, his explosiveness, whether it be escaping uh, the pocket, uh, the run game, the design quarterback run game, or, or getting the ball on field. So if we, can, if we can stop him and limit him to his ability to help his team, then they'll be, I think they'll be uh, hindered. So. Anything else? All right. Good stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it.